If it's 8 o'clock in Vancouver, 9 in Calgary, and 11 p.m. in Toronto, what time is it on the moon? The moon sits above many time zones, but why does it matter? It's a distant, unpopulated landscape after all. But it won't always be. And liftoff of Artemis 1. NASA has started up moon missions again, and now countries around the world are sending spacecraft to the moon. Plus, private companies are seeing big business and tourism opportunities on the moon. The European Space Agency says it's time the world agreed on a standard of time for moon travel to ensure global coordination. The moon is about to become a very busy place over the next decade and probably for the rest of its existence. And, you know, you need an efficient and safe system in place. It's like the growth of train travel in the 19th century. Countries needed timetables for trains crossing borders. It's why they came up with 24 basic time zones around the world. More if you count Newfoundland and Labrador. The moon will become both a destination and a hub for space travel. A busy lunar highway with speeds up to 40,000 kilometers an hour is dangerous. Plus, time is quicker on the moon. It has to do with the moon's mass, less gravity, Einstein, all that stuff. It just means clocks gain about 56 microseconds per day on the moon. Not a lot, but in moon travel, precision matters. It's just not going to be a big deal for people. but. We live in a computerized age where time is really important and keeping our time systems set as accurately as we possibly can. Scientists will have to figure out a universal lunar timekeeping system and nations will have to agree on it. It's taken about four billion years, but it seems time is of the essence for the moon to get its own clock. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.